Welcome everybody to the first edition of the Outside Corner. This is my uh, new channel, my general MLB channel, and hopefully uh, all you guys came over from my old channel, which I'm still doing by the way, Justin Verlander 35, where I talked about all things uh, Detroit Tigers baseball. And uh, you know, I've been wanting to do a general MLB channel for a long time now. Uh, my old channel I did general MLB uh, on occasion. But, you know, this channel is going to be dedicated solely to nothing but MLB uh, and all things MLB. So, today's uh, first video is going to be on uh, the playoff races, who makes it and why. Uh, if you don't already know this uh, from my other channel, uh, I actually write sports articles. And I did an article on this uh, yesterday, previewing the AL, but today I'm going to do the whole MLB. So, for the American League, it's start with the American League East. I think... The Baltimore Orioles are going to win the AL East. I think they're going to upset uh, everyone in that division. Uh, the Yankees have not been playing very good baseball. You know, they're uh, sub-500 since the All-Star break. And the Baltimore Orioles, you know, they're the Pythagorean theorem's worst nightmare. Uh, if you don't know what the Pythagorean theorem is, it's, uh, it's a theorem saying, you know, based on your run differential and your luckiness, what your record should be. And looking at their Pythagorean theorem, there should be about six games under 500. I checked it yesterday on Baseball Reference. Uh, yeah, you know they're right there atop the AL East. You know, and the Tampa Bay Rays are tied with the uh, the Yankees, with the uh, you know on top. So I think the Orioles. You know, their starting pitching isn't that good. The rotation, but you know, as of late, Zach Britton's been really good. Wei Young Chen has been really good this year. Uh, Hamels hasn't been bad. You know. Could they do damage in the playoffs long term? I don't know. You know, you know they have a lead late. They're not going to blow it because Jim Johnson's been absolutely outstanding in their bullpen. Their whole bullpen's been really, really good. Um, you know, their offense is, is pretty good. You know, Adam Jones, Manny Muchado, Chris Davis is having an outstanding year. So, you know, they, they could, they could, you know, Mark Reynolds, I forgot him too. You know, they could do a little bit of damage. Could they win the World Series? I don't know. I doubt it. Um, and for the AL Central, I got to go with the uh, Detroit Tigers. Now, the reason why I'm picking the Tigers is is they beat the White Sox when it counts. Now, granted, they, they are having a very hard time against teams like the Indians and the Royals, but the White Sox just lost 18-9 to last night to the Twins. So they're not exactly beating big-name teams when it counts, or uh, crap teams when it counts either. Uh, last two times the Tigers have faced the Sox, the Tigers have swept them both times at Comerica. Uh, they open up a four-game set with them later this week in Chicago. You know, it could prove pivotal. Uh, they, they sit a game back. And uh, for the Tigers, it's division or nothing. Because they currently sit four games out in the wild card. And they have no shot of doing that. Especially now with the emergence of the Yankees in the wild card hunt now. Considering, uh, you know, they just got bumped out of the top standings of the AL East. And the Rays are up there, too. Uh, in Oakland, is. They, they should pretty much be a lock already for a wild card. Uh, so it's division or nothing for the White Sox and Tigers, and I think the Tigers might just edge out the uh, White Sox just because of the record against the White Sox this year. Um, so hopefully that's the case. Uh, the AL West, not much explaining. You know, the, the Rangers have a four-game lead over them. The only reason why there's a four-game lead over the A's uh, is because in July, the Rangers were god-awful. They only won nine games, uh, which gave the rest of the division a chance to come back a little bit and, uh, you know, make it a bit more interesting. And on the wild cards, I'm going Oakland. I uh, mean, magical season. You know, they don't have a star-studded lineup, but you got guys like Reddick and Suspettis and Johnny Gomes. You know, they're doing their job, and then uh, their pitching staff is really, really good. You know, Jared Parker, Tommy Malone. Uh, Brandon McCarthy, Brett Anderson, you know, they, they got really, really good pitching on that team. And, uh, you know, they, they kind of remind me of the 2008 race. You know, they didn't have a lot of star power, but, you know, they, they just did enough to manufacture wins. Uh, you know, I think they lead the league in walk-off wins this year. And, you know, they've gotten hot, really hot twice this year. They just got off a nine-game winning streak. Um, now for the NL. The NL East, I'm going with the Washington Nationals. You know, they're pretty much already a lock. You know, the the Braves are down six games to, to them, I think. Um, so there's really not much of a chance if the Nationals just play remotely okay. Uh, you know, they did shut down. The Steven Strasburg is getting shut down on the 12th of September, which is a dumb move in my opinion. But that'll be another video. Uh, 
then the Central is the Reds. You know, I picked the Reds to win the Central this year, and uh, I was right because, you know, you had to think Milwaukee wasn't going to be as good. You know, even minus Prince Fielder, that's that's just hard, hard to come by. Uh, you know, to, to score. Even though Aramis Ramirez has been good for them. Him and Braun have had put up a pretty good year together. Um, but, you know, their pitching hasn't been as good. Axford has had a really hard year. And, you know, K-Rod, uh, he's been okay. You know, they've had a hard time closing games out on that team. And, um, you know, the rotation's been okay, too. You know, it wasn't like last year. Um, so they, they're going to win the Central and make the playoffs. And then the NL West, I'm going with the Giants to win the West. The Dodgers have just done nothing to prove to me since that big trade they did with the Red Sox that they were going to uh, win the West. You know, a lot of people thought after Melky Cabrera got suspended that the Dodgers were going to come in and absolutely own the division because, you know, Melky Cabrera was hitting, I think, 353 at the time of his suspension. And, you know, that's a big bat to, to lose on a Giants team that doesn't exactly score runs like the Rangers. So, but they've, they've just continued to do it. You know, they acquired 100 pence. The, the, the Giants pitching is obviously, obviously the better staff of the two. Uh, uh, the, I, I take the Giants bullpen over the Dodgers bullpen as well, but you know Adrian Gonzalez, he's gotten a couple big hits for him uh, for the Dodgers so far. But you know they just have not been able to string together wins. I think they've won three games since the trade that happened, um, three or four games, and they just uh, you know have not been able to to just string any wins together. You know it's a brand new team; they're still gelling, and you know their offense has been inconsistent. You know, Matt Kemp went through a bit of a power slump there for a little bit. Uh, you know, the Chris, their, their rotation is starting to fall off a little bit. You know, besides Clayton Kershaw, Capuano's falling off a lot. Uh, you know, they got Joe Blanton in their rotation, who he was terrible to begin with. Uh, you know, Billingsley's been up and down all year. So, you know, it's, it's starting to fall apart for the Dodgers, uh, which is crazy, too, because at the start of the year, they had the... For the longest time, they had the best record in baseball uh, up until about May or June. And uh, the wild cards, I'm going with the Braves to win a wild card. Uh, they're gonna, you know, they're they're pretty close up there uh, to the Nats. I mean, they're six games behind, but you know, they got one of the better records in the NL. And uh, I think I'm gonna go with the uh, Cardinals to win the second wild card. You know, they've been playing really good baseball as of late. Uh, you know, they're not going to catch the Reds because no one's catching the Reds. That team, they, they lose their MVP first baseman, and what do they do? You know, they still continue to win the whole time without Joey Votto. Um, you know, I think the, the Pittsburgh Pirates, they're a feel-good story, but they're going to fall just short. You know, at one time they were, uh, I think, 17 games, 15 games over 500, and now they're hovering right at 10 or 11, which just will not be enough to win a wild card spot on the NL. So I think the Cardinals and the Braves are going to be the two wild card spots. You know, as for World Series, n not a clue. Uh, you know, maybe I'll do a video come October time when the playoff uh, is actually set in stone, uh, not just me guessing and who I think is going to be there. So, like I said, reviewing my picks: AL East is Baltimore, Central is Tigers, West is Rangers. Two wild cards are Oakland and the Yankees. Well, I didn't do my second wild card for the yet. The second wild card, I'm, I'm going with the Yankees uh, uh, for the AL. And then for the West, uh, NL East, the Nats, NL Central, the Reds, NL West, the Giants. Two wild cards are the Braves and Cardinals. So, that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, you know, thank you for watching. And uh, hopefully I can build up this channel like I built up my other one. So, thank you for watching and subscribe if you haven't.